varsity football action. Paul the sixth visiting St. Christopher's, and they came in at one and five. But this wasn't a one and five team. Wilson Bedell with an interception on the first drive as Paul the sixth was driving. Wilson had two interceptions on the day. Second quarter action. Giles Thompson to Garrett Taylor on the bubble screen. Nice play there from Garrett Taylor. But the man of the day was Fleet Wallace as Thompson hits him right there for a 54 yard touchdown strike. Saints up seven to nothing. Defense, Carrington Lanier with the fumble recovery as the Paul the Six loses the ball on the wing tee handoff. The Saints take advantage quickly. Thompson to Wallace, slant pattern. Thompson to Wallace on the out. DB just misses it, 25 yard touchdown. The second of the day for Thompson and Wallace. Paul the Six hung tough. Cofield with the touchdown run. Cutting the lead to 14-7, still in the second quarter. Let's go to third quarter action. Fleet Wallace again. Another post pattern. Good for a nice game. Wallace, a 10-yard game. First down. That sets up my man Thomas Cottrell. Nice long 42-yard field goal. 17-7 Saints in the third quarter. Gannon Hinks. Oh, truck stick. Oh, my goodness. Runs over a defender. That got him fired up. 21 carries, 102 yards on the day for Gannon Hinks, one of the leading rushers in the Richmond area. He came in with 133 yards per game. Thompson, back again. Are you serious? Fleet Wallace one more time. Three touchdowns. Infographic time. 10 catches, 207 yards for the junior. Great game from Fleet Wallace. Welcome back to him. Now Paul the six, I said, hey, hanging tough. Cofield with a nice 28-yard touchdown reception, only down 24 to 16. But they kick it to the wrong guy here. Hinkst off the right sideline, up the up the sideline, and he almost went for six here. If they didn't pull his jersey there and brought him down at the 26-yard line, this was set up a 41-yard field goal for Thomas Cottrell to make it a two-score game, 27-16, as Ricky DeBerry is excited about that. Got to be excited about this too, Wilson Bedell with the sack, forcing fourth down. O'Connor looking up top. Tommy Whitney there with the interception to end the drive on fourth down. Great play from him, and this is the one of the best plays of the season. Jacob Robeson with an interception, and he will go to the crib. Look at the block, and out front, Sean Mingus leading them into the end zone. 34-18 win. St. Chris moves to 5-2. and two.